you doing? Yeah, I'm doing good too. You all prepared for tonight? Mm -hmm. I'm looking forward to it. I've always wanted to go to this gallery, but just never had the time. When I told my mom I was going, she was practically pushing me up the stairs to find something to wear. Yeah, she's okay too. Thanks for asking. She wants to see you, you know. Hmm, she remembers you from school. Of course I had to tell her. If her favorite soap isn't on, I'm the next best thing. She said she knew that something was different ever since I asked her about cooking together. I guess that kind of thought never really came to me because I was working so much, but I like that we're spending more time together now. Even if it's just a little. Our next dish is gonna be spring rolls. I've heard they're pretty easy to make. Or do you have another suggestion? I'm open to anything, as long as it's easy and both of us can follow along. Thank you. Have you left yet? Okay, um, I'm just getting the last bits together, uh, make sure mum's got everything she needs, and then I'll leave. I should be there in about 20 minutes. Yeah, I checked the weather about an hour ago. It's gonna be freezing. Wait, are you already there? Why did you leave so early? I'll leave in a minute, okay? I don't want you to wait any longer than you need to. Don't worry, I'm gonna wrap up. I'm starting to sound like my mom. <laughs> I'll let you know when I'm almost there. Wait inside for now, okay? See you soon. Okay, bye. Hey! You weren't lying when you said to wrap up. It's so cold. If you told me you wanted to be here earlier, I would've. I'm not late for anything, am I? Okay, good. You look really nice, by the way. I know you said smart casual, but I feel like I could've done a little better. You think it's alright? Hmm. I don't know why, I'm just a little nervous. I haven't been out like this in a long time. It's been monotonous for me. You know, wake, cook, work, cook, art, sleep, and repeat. I don't have enough time in the day to relax and go to an art gallery. Shall we go in? Wow, look at that architecture. Oh, it's amazing, isn't it? I've walked past here so many times, and I remember thinking to myself to just sneak a peek inside, but I was always on some type of schedule. And now I'm here, thanks to you. No, I would have come myself, but when I have so much to do, I don't really think about taking days off to chill. I've been grinding for so long that it's hard to slow down and take a breather. Yeah, I know I need to change that and have one every once in a while instead of never. Still, it's it's a nice change of pace. Oh yeah! I remember seeing that this gallery had exclusives! I can't believe Michael Serini even allowed his works to be put on display. He's a really talented artist, known for painting across so many genres. Uh, impressionism, Fauvism, uh, Baroque, uh, Neoclassicism. Oh, he's so good. I don't know how he does it. No one really knows anything about him. He's so private. You'd think he lived through all of those artistic movements. It's actually insane. The range in his portfolio is amazing. And the fact that he's such an enigma makes his work even more mysterious and intriguing. Yeah, I wanted to do my dissertation on him, but I knew there wouldn't be enough information. I don't even know how this curator even managed to do it. 
I was going to write about aesthetic emotions across movements and compare the similarities if there were any, and Serini was the first artist that came to mind because his art expands across so much. Like this one in particular, The Waning Sunrise. The title alone is an oxymoron, so it's already a bit of a riddle. And then when you really look at it, you see in the eastern horizon that the sun doesn't look right. It looks off, doesn't it? And then if you pair that with the colour scheme he uses, it makes me feel some kind of hopelessness. Even though there's so much life in the painting, like the birds, the trees and the family underneath, it feels cold. Almost detached in a way. And some of his other works are similar. I don't know how, but he conveys so much emotion through a scene that's objectively meant to give you some type of peace and instead gives you context behind the image through his use of colour and abstract dimensions. That's... that was a lot, wasn't it? <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. When it comes to art, I can just ramble on. And Serini is one of my favourite artists. Ah, stop. It's not cute if I talk your ears off. Come on, let's find something that speaks to you. Tonight isn't just about me. I don't know. It can be anything. I mean, this gallery has all sorts. Hey, don't say me! Ah, oh, you can't be so cheesy. It's sweet and all, but I'm not used to hearing it. No, it's not your job to help me get used to it. I just... Honestly, if I pictured who I'd be here with, it wouldn't be you. No offence, I, I didn't think I'd ever see you again. Or if I did, we'd have no interaction. I kind of made my peace with what happened. Well, as much as I could have. But life seems to throw curveballs. And in this instance, I might be glad I caught it. Because now I can start to heal. We both can. I think it's about time, right? I'm not normally the type of person that holds on to grudges, but when something hurts so deep, you leave it there and hope one day it'll disappear. Was it the same for you? Yeah, we were young and stupid back then. And now here we are, admiring the, uh, what is this, the Centurion Messenger by someone called Dimitri Dagon... Dagon? 1864. Hmm. Something tells me you have no idea what to look at. You sort of look like a deer in headlights, to be honest. I'm thankful that you brought me here. Really, it's... It's a nice gesture. And it was luck that Serini's works are here. I don't know if I'll still do that dissertation on him. My academic days are over, and I'm not that good at essays. But I'm confident enough to say that I know what I'm talking about, and I know my research. Me? A teacher? No, I don't think so. I still clam up when I'm in front of a lot of people. Do you remember when we had to do that presentation for English, and we had to do it in front of the whole year? I was so nervous, to the point where I pretended I was feeling sick so I could skip it and do it in front of the class instead the next day. Yeah, that's what I did. There was no way I could present in front of everyone, even with the advice my mum gave me. Eyes to the front, don't look at anyone, and if you feel like you need to throw up, run. <laughs> it's better I run than chuck up over the first row of students. I didn't want to give them any more fuel to bully me. I don't think I would have survived school if that happened. Yeah, you're right. Today isn't about them. And I shouldn't give them what they want years down the line. You know... I'm still surprised. 
even though you went your own way and we hadn't seen each other in years, you still held on to that... Mm, purity? Is that the right word? No, not innocence. Um, optimism. I'm glad that nothing really got rid of it. It helped me a lot. Your carefree attitude. You're still carefree, actually. Yeah, doing things at your own pace and not because someone else told you to do it. I know you're still not sure about what to do career-wise, but you've always been the type to grab things when they're close enough. Me, on the other hand, I have to meticulously plan just because I can't deal with untidiness and uncertainty. You think it ruins the fun? Hmm. Maybe. I think we balance each other pretty well then. Hey. No, everything's fine. I, I just... I know you're not into this type of stuff. And the fact that you brought me here is enough to tell me that you're really, really trying. I see it. It wasn't too much. I appreciate the thought. But I want you to enjoy today as well. Like I said, it's not just about me. Do you want to stay a little longer? Or should we hunt for some stupidly expensive hot dog stands? Mm-hmm, my treat. I can always come back and see the rest of Serini's works. They're exclusive to this gallery, so they're not going anywhere. Okay, let's go. I haven't had a hot dog like that in a long time. It's usually at theme parks where you get them that long. Yeah, it tasted really good. I never would have thought of putting pickles on a hot dog, so I'm surprised. I might start doing that for mum, actually. Yes, well, you are the chef, so I'm starting to trust that you've got knowledge about food that I don't. I value it a lot. Just like I'm valuing spending more time with mum in the kitchen because of your advice. I wasn't expecting it, but it's good that I got it when I did. Because if I didn't, nothing in my life would have changed. I'd still be doing extra shifts. Well, more than I'm doing now. I'd hassle mom to not do anything and do everything myself. I just want her to have a good life, you know? Not to stress or think about what's coming in the future. Hmm, you have a point. If I don't let her do anything, all she might do is think about the future. Have I been forcing her this entire time? I hope that she sees I'm doing everything for her. I love her. I wouldn't be here without her, so I wanted to make sure she had the best life ever. I'm sorry that I keep talking about it. Are you sure? I just don't have anyone else to really vent to. Well, not vent, but to talk about it with. I made some friends at university, but none that stayed fully. You know how people say you meet your lifelong friends at uni? Friends that you'll hang on to for years after. I didn't really do that. It's always been hard for me to make friends, so I wasn't surprised when I graduated without any real ones. No, I, I got along with people, mostly because I'd have a hard time if I didn't. It was necessary. But I didn't really click with any of them. Obviously we had things in common, but no one I could properly joke around with, tease, and just be a good friend with. So when I finished, it was like nothing had changed except I had a piece of paper saying I was good at drawing and a ton of debt to pay off. I don't regret going. I just wish it would have been a little different. Or I wish I could have tried harder. Hmm? What do you have to give me? 
I was wondering why you were carrying that bag around. Wait, you bought me a present? But it's way past Christmas. I... Okay, okay. <laughs> you got me an apron? Wait, a Bob Ross cooking apron? That's... <laughs> Thank you, I... I really, really like it. I, s I swear I'm not joking. Honestly, thank you. Do you mind if I hug you? Well, we're in public, so I, I just want to make sure you're okay with it. Okay. I feel bad I haven't gotten you anything. Alright, how about this? Seeing as my mom wants to see you and I can never refuse her, why don't you come round next time and I can cook you something? Though I'm not promising any Michelin star level dinner, just something that I'm semi-confident at. Yeah, I'll wear the apron. I'm actually really looking forward to using it. And you never know, there might come a time in the future where I'll feel weird cooking without one. I do that thing other chefs do where they put the towel on the shoulder. I saw it in some YouTube videos and thought I'd try it out. I quite liked how I looked. And I felt like a pro. Maybe you could show me a tip or two? Mom will be stoked. I haven't brought a friend around in a long time, so I'm sure she'll be paying just as much attention. I did? Oh, it sort of slipped out. I think I'm starting to see you as a friend, yeah. Starting being the key word here. I think the fact that I know you want to change and that you're trying to is helping me heal from before. I'd be more surprised if you were the same person as you were back then, but I'm, I'm glad you're not. Honestly, I thought you'd be nerdier. <laughs> well, there's always time to be. I can give you a tour of my room. I haven't organised all the merch yet, but I have a fair few. Attack on Titan is probably my biggest one. Have you watched that yet? I wanted to get the, uh, the Wings of Freedom as a tattoo on my back at one point, but I'm glad I shot that thought down pretty quick. <laughs> Maybe I am still a weeb at heart. It helps keep my art creative. The colours, the animation... It's all seamless and inspiring at the same time. I'd love to do something like that. Inspire other people with my work. I think that's the ultimate goal. Thanks. I think I'll get there too. One day. Oh, this is mine. Thank you for today. I'll let you know when I get in. Be safe. I'll talk to you later. <laughs> 